What is one of the reasons why the project was raised? In recent years, agriculture has evolved towards sustainable systems in the medium to long term due to recent agricultural intensification. One of the key measures to evolve towards us increasingly Sustainable agriculture is biological control by conservation, carry out using tools for diversity management. To carry out uh, this strategy, it is essential to know in each agrosystem the main pest of the system and their key natural enemies, as well as the interactions between them. In Spain, one of the most important and extensive horticultural free crops in rehouses is the paper. Therefore, understanding how the system works is essential. What are the objectives of the project? The main objective of the project was to implement agri-environmental measures that maximize crop productivity through ecological intensification tools in order to increase functional biodiversity and therefore reduce phytosanitary products. The purpose of the project in our case was to evaluate whether landscape management measures, such as the implementation of uh, ecological infrastructures, allow us uh, allow the promotion of bi biological uh, control by conservation, restoring biodiversity and its functionality in pepper uh, crops. What types of sampling have been carried out to meet the objectives? Samplings were carried out on pepper greenhouses located in Swiss Spain. Half of the crops had hedges on their on their side, and companion plants uh, that in this case was uh, it was Lobularia maritima placed in between the crop. The the remaining uh, greenhouses uh, were so called uh, control and do not have hedges or Lobularia. On one hand, to see the presence of phytophagus and natural enemies, visual samplings on the crops were done, uh, observing three leaves per plant. Uh, on the other hand, to see the auxiliary fauna tracked by the companion plant, both visual and plant eating samplings were done on the Lobularia maritima. Finally, to see the auxiliary fauna tracked by the by the plants in the edge, both visual and foliage bits in samples were done on each of the edge plants. Finally, do you think there has been a good reception from the different actors of the project? The proposal has been carried out among various research centers, companies in the agricultural sector, agricultural business organizations and non-governmental non-profit organizations. The relationship between all parties has been very fluid and fruitful following the objectives of the project to be met. Moreover, there has been a very good reception from farmers who, showing positive results, are interested in further long-term studies.